We're gonna do this for like the third time. Let's go. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kayla Simone. If you have never been to my channel, welcome. I'm Kayla, once again. Um, definitely click that thumbs up. I know we ain't got started yet, but click that thumbs up. Click that notification bell. Subscribe, make sure you are a part of the game, a part of my family. So you can hear stories like this. You can have videos like this. This is like a in between a story time slash um, just an apartment update. Um, I had some issues with maintenance recently and I'm just like, maybe this can help somebody, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't mind my face, I have lip gloss on and that's it, okay? No makeup shorty today. And y'all gonna get me just like this. All right. Um, I promise I'm gonna do a makeup video soon. I actually have recorded like three videos since I've lived here and this is the first time that the lighting and all that has been somewhat right. I, I am convinced I have to film right in front of the window which is gonna be odd because bulk of my room is on this side. Um, and I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You know what? No worries. Everything's good. If you like to hear this and stop hearing me rambling then um, just keep on watching. All right. So, as most of y'all know, I moved into um, my new apartment with my brother slash cousin. Y'all know how us black folks do. Our cousins is our brothers, is our siblings, you know, whatever. Um, Ronnie. And so we moved in May 31st into our two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. We absolutely love the apartment. Like the actual, um, the space in the room is amazing. The closet space is good the bathrooms are amazing my bathroom is right behind me um all the finishes the way the apartment aesthetically looks we love it okay love it have been living our best lives i would even say like the staff is even great but i am so glad that i followed my first mind and i am also 25 and so sometimes when you become of age and if y'all have watched my youtube channel since i've started y'all know i've i'm I'm slowly but surely coming more and more out of my shell just because like um, I'm just starting to not care what people think so much and it just is what it is hence why I came on here with absolutely lip gloss on my face I ain't gonna say nothing you thought I was about to say nothing lip gloss on my face um but yeah so the staff is cool they're very nice very personable don't really have any issues but i did notice like some communication issues when we were going through the leasing process it was like you know i got questions about this and they were like oh you can reach me by email but then like there was a couple instances where i sent the email and i got no response so i'm pick up the phone and call type person because i need to know you hearing what i'm saying and i need to make sure i'm hearing what you're saying and the tone that you're saying it and all that other stuff because you know emails and texts they can be real deceiving you put too many caps in and I think you got an attitude. All right, cool. So, um, boom, we get through all the communication issues through the leasing process. We are here. I think my camera's crooked. Hold on. I think that's better. I think she's not so crooked now. I but anywho, so um, we're in the apartment. The apartment is going fine. If you looked at my, um, which I'm gonna tag or put my apartment tour down below or in the card section somewhere so y'all can watch it if y'all haven't yet. But if you notice in my apartment tour, that was the day, that was move-in day. And so my shower rod was loose. And my dad was like, oh, you got the curved one. Like that's how they're making them nowadays. It's okay. And I was like, no dad, like, I know the difference between something that's just different, like it's a curved shower rod, and it's actually loose. And I went to my um, to my brother's room and went to his um, bathroom, and I was like, Ronnie, like mine is loose, and he was like, Oh yeah, like yours shouldn't be that loose. And I shook his, and his was like really sturdy. So um, that for me, I was like, Okay, they need to make sure that is sturdy. I don't want that to be. I mean, we ain't on no Mimi Faust type stuff, but you know what I'm saying. I want it to be sturdy. You know, I don't want to be taking a shower and then all of a sudden everything fall to pieces and I'm trying to brush to work in the morning. I don't have time for that. I want my shower. I want, I want what I pay for. Period. Period. Basically, I put in a maintenance request that very first day that I moved in. And granted, I know they give you a checklist, but I just wanted to make sure that all my I's was dotted and all my T's were crossed. 
And so I knew that I had to go to Atlanta that next day and they give you like a two day period to fill out that checklist. So what I decided to do was make a maintenance call the day I moved in just to let them know, you know, this was something that was of concern and I wanted it to be fixed. You know, I'm giving them like a week turnaround, something like that, because I know we just moved in. And on the um, checklist, we checked all the doors and all that other stuff on that the apartment checklist that they give you. And we wrote out what condition everything was in. And, you know, Ronnie turned it in because I had to get up the next morning and go to Atlanta. I figured that, like, it wouldn't be necessarily done when I got back. But, like, actually, no, you know what? I ain't even gonna lie. I expected it to be done when I got back. Because I was in Atlanta from June the 1st through June the 4th. So I kind of was expecting like some sort of progress because I guess me and my customer service background, I just feel like the first impression is the lasting impression. And um, even though I love the apartment, there's still a service and a customer service aspect to it. And like I said, the people in the leasing office, those people themselves were perfectly fine. Like we have valet trash. We also, um, and we have a maintenance team or whatever. And so y'all will understand why I'm bringing this up later on in the story maybe like a week or yeah about a week goes by and we try to do laundry for the first time so this is probably the end of our first week we realize we're trying to do laundry and the laundry uh the washing machine worked perfectly fine the dryer did not dry the clothes so my clothes are wet barney's clothes are wet but I need to wash clothes. Like, I have to. Like, I'm not going to rewear. It's hot in North Carolina. Like, I, it's like 91 degrees right now. Which is why I just sucked it up and cut the air on. And, like, the dryer's not work. I need the dryer to work because I need my clothes to be washed and dry. I don't need no mildew smells. I don't need no nothing. I don't, it may smell like tired the first couple days, but let it sit in that water real good. No, sir. Not me. So, um,. That following, I believe I tried to do laundry like that Friday of my first week living there. And then that following Sunday, our leasing office is still open on Sunday. I actually was doing my part-time job in which they required us to canvas the area. And one of the areas happened to be my apartment complex. So, I was like, ooh, I can kill two birds with one stone while I'm waiting on my um, co-workers to get here for us to canvas. Let me go talk to the le leasing office just to see if we can do some, like, um some events with them also to see like I'm, I'm in full partnership mode because that's pretty much what I do professionally is like community engagement partnership like that's just that's me so when I go talk to the um the man one of the managers in the lease office I tell him like oh you know I put in a maintenance request for my shower ride a while ago or you know earlier this week the day I moved in but also I'd like to add something else and while I'm in the office and you know the office is open do you mind putting it in for me he was like no no problem so he puts in the, re the maintenance request that the dryer is not working he asked me to check the filter and stuff like that I did the filters in there it wasn't melted to it it wasn't burned the filter actually was cleaned out so i don't know what was going on but i had to dry my clothes legit five times for it to even be semi dry and i don't know if it was something wrong with the hookup or whatever but that was ridiculous and it shrunk one of my dresses and i'm pissed because i just got it that's just me side note needless to say we did not do laundry for the next week or so and we're thinking okay somebody's gonna come out somebody's gonna come out so that was all during the first week that I put in two maintenance requests. And I think I put in another one for the kitchen uh, wall. One of the outlets weren't, wasn't working. But to me, that was minor because we got so many outlets. I'll get that fixed later. But I need my shower curtain rod or my shower rod to be fixed. And I need that dryer to be fixed, right? So fast forward um, another week. So by this time, we've been living in the apartment for two weeks. Um, we just kind of we're like okay i wonder when maintenance is coming you know what's going on so i call and i say hey no actually i didn't even call at the two week mark it was more like two and a half weeks and i called the middle of like um going on the third week and i called and i said hey you know i just wanted to uh check i don't know how your maintenance orders work i know in my old apartment 
you know you put in a maintenance request you can do it yourself or the front desk could do it and they would send you an email that they received it they would send you an email when they completed it simple um so I called and I got the young lady up front and I said hey I'm just calling to check on the maintenance request because like I put in the one for my shower ride like the very first week of me moving here and I put in the one for the dryer like literally the end of my first week beginning of my second week so within that same week all this was put in at once and so um I just want to know are there any updates so she goes and checks the system and she says oh yeah um they said that it was complete I'm like complete where when, when dryer still don't work what you what you mean complete it ain't complete she said I don't see anything in there that's what it was she didn't see any requests and I said um, and I'm sorry I'm getting it mixed up I'm just going off the fly but I was like oh well I just talked to such and such and he put in the I was in the leasing office when he put in the washing machine or the dryer request I was sitting right in front of him when he put that in and he said that was all taken care of she was like oh no nothing was ever put in I'm like okay so she was like I'm gonna put that in and um you should be good now so she puts the work request in the maintenance request in boom that was on a Monday so fast forward to so that's at the that's at the two week mark that's at the two week mark that Monday was like a two week mark so fast forward to now Thursday I'm like okay I see I'm at because in my mind like this is my third time talking to them and nothing has been done so I just want to double check because they're again they're not sending me anything to for me to track it so I have no choice but to be annoying and hey it is what it is so um, I call again I say hey I just want to double check and this is why I was fed up because the valet trash was not picked up and the trash had been getting picked up every other day now all of a sudden my trash not picked up and they picked up everyone else's trash around because we all set it out between 5 and 7 p.m. they're supposed to pick it up we wake up in the morning nothing was picked up so I'm like okay alright well, my trash not picked up so I call I said, hey, you know, I can't say her name. Sorry, I just said her name. I ain't mean to. I'm going to bleep it out, cut it out, something. I was like, hey, you know, uh, this is me from such and such. Just calling to check up on that request. And also, my trash wasn't picked up today. <laughs> my trash was not picked up today. So she was like, oh, well, normally valet trash has to log or document why they didn't pick your trash up. So let me look in the system. She do, 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 looks in the system and there's nothing there there's no photo evidence of why they didn't pick it up there's no nothing it's just oh they didn't put anything in here i said oh it's because it's all in my trash but it's fine so then i said okay how about how am i supposed to keep track of the maintenance order or request and she was like oh they you should get something and i was like yeah no nobody's come yet she's like they still haven't come i said no Nobody's come. So she looks up the maintenance order. And I don't know what the hell whoever has against us and this new apartment. Like, we're newly in this apartment. I don't understand. I, I ain't even had time to make no enemies yet, okay? And she says, oh, well, they put that it was complete. I'm sorry, come again. Complete where? My shower rod is still hanging. And the dryer is still not working. Complete where? Who completed what? I need to know. Point me in his direction. I need to know because I just want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. I want to look up the definition of complete and incomplete. And I want to have a conversation. That is it. He was like, I'm so sorry about that. I am going to talk to the maintenance manager when he gets here because he's about to get here and get back in a few seconds. I'm going to talk to him and we're going to put your work request in and it's going to get done. And she was like, but I'm going to I'm gonna call you back. She said, I get off at 7. I'm going to call you back before the end of the day, which she did. And I'm going to give them that. Their customer service, as far as them trying to handle it, I just don't know what the hell going on with maintenance. Um, they were fine. So she was like, I'm going to call you back before my shift ends, and I'll let you know and give you any updates. And if anything happens between that, call me back. I said, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. So 
she um calls me back literally right before her shift then she was so sweet and she was like hey um i talked to the manager he said that he, he's gonna have someone out there first thing in the morning now the the leasing office opens at 10. she said he's gonna have someone out there first thing in the morning okay i said okay perfect thank you she was like i'm not gonna be in the office tomorrow but I'll let my coworkers know so they know what's going on. Blase, blase. Cool. So excited. So this is Friday now. This is Friday. So now this is completing week three. This is completing week three. This is week three. Like right now I'm recording this, we're in week four. This is week three. I left my work clothes for my second job at home and I, I was like, this is God, right? Because I left him at home, which means I had to stop back at home before I went to my second shift. So I get off on that Friday. I come home, skirt, skirt. I'm ready for my stuff to be fixed. I walk up in the house. I see nothing. Nothing has been done. So you can only imagine that I was really frustrated. I was real frustrated. I'm like, okay, okay. So it's three o'clock. First thing in the morning is way before three o'clock. And ain't nothing happened. Ain't nothing happened. And I want to know why. So, <laughs> I called to the office again. And I get the first young man who put in the very first maintenance request. The one that was supposedly never put in the system when I sat there. And he did it for me. The very first maintenance request um, for the dryer in the system. And he was like, hey, how are you today? Bless it, bless it, bless it. And I was like, I'm not good. I'm not, I'm not good. I'm not good. You know why I'm not good? Because my dryer still does not work. And I put in my first request with you two weeks ago. It was the end of my first week living here. Everything else is amazing, but I am not good because I can't be walking around here in no funky clothes. I will not. It's 91 degrees. I'm sweating. My armpits, they, they do stink from time to time. I mean, I'm not going to act like, you know, deodorant is bulletproof. It's not. I, I keep some in my bag, okay? But I'm not going to wear this shirt with the collar all, all, all stretched out because I didn't wore it four times. I'm not doing that. That's, that's what I'm not doing. Neither am I wearing dirty drawers. I'm not. I will not. You wore them once. <laughs> I don't play that flipping inside out stuff because I'm a girl, you know, boys, they can get away with that kind of stuff, but not me, okay? I don't know who you thought you were playing with. Um, I change my clothes, get ready for work. I hop in my car and I notice a golf cart, like the little golf cart, the property golf cart pulls up, but it's like, the it's so weird to explain, but the way our parking lot is, like it kind of, you can go around, like it's a roundabout type thing. And it pulls around on the other side, like it's about to go into the little, um, facility across from where my building is and so I noticed I was like why did they stop when I got in the car so it's like I got in the car and I'm remembering maybe this is me being paranoid but I know you have to put your car on file so they know that you live here and like when I backed out of the parking spot and I don't think they know that I peeped but they start backing out and then when I got to the stop sign at the end of the block I saw them pull in where my building was why are you being slick maintenance person why y'all being slick is it because like you didn't do what you were supposed to do like what's going on why are you being slick dude dude legit told me on the phone he'll try and get somebody out there he did not see the work order i said why do y'all keep putting this work order in and why does it keep getting marked as complete if nobody is coming to my apartment that is ridiculous so I went to work, needless to say, I did my little couple hour shifts and I came home and my stuff was fixed. And they tried to be funny and put three little, you know, sign slips saying, you know, all the work orders were done. But I mean, like, why did I have to do all that? Like, why did I have to do all that? I just want to know. Like, y'all about to make the east side come out of me. Why did I have to do all of that? That's pretty much it, um, guys. Needless to say, the stuff got fixed. I did not want to have to be a complete butt to get it fixed. And I wasn't rude. I didn't cuss anybody out. But still, like, I was real firm about it. But when you are moving, just make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. You keep receipts. You talk to people. And you bug the hell out of them. And you know why? Because you are paying your hard-earned money. 
and this is one of the reasons why I wanted to move into my apartment before I even went to on that Atlanta trip because that was like the same weekend and I'm glad that I did that because I was able to lay eyes on the apartment um, look at what was right and what was wrong and what needed to be fixed and hold them accountable so um when you're spending your money somewhere when you're leasing a place yes it's you know it's their property and they have other stuff to do but you know there there's a grace period where it's like okay a week expect that because they have a lot of residents and but like three weeks like come on especially when you've called and they keep saying the the requests are complete and all that other stuff you have to kind of keep keep them on the up and up because they have a lot of stuff going on and be like hey i'm here um but there's some there's a nice and polite way to do it and i wasn't rude but i was frustrated i'm not even gonna lie i was frustrated so if y'all have any apartment stories or anything like that about your move in and um maybe if i'm wrong let me know at the bottom too like i don't care i just want y'all to comment i want y'all to talk to me let me know what's good and i will talk to y'all next time make sure you subscribe become a part of the gang and um yeah i'll see y'all later peace